Welcome to Finance Deep Dive. So, what is a company really worth? I mean, what's its true value? It's probably one of the biggest questions in all of investing. Well, today, we're going to crack that code. We're going to learn how to read a company's financial story. Let's get right into it. Okay, let's start with a little puzzle. You're looking at two stocks. One is 45 bucks a share. The other is just 15 Now, your gut, your instincts are probably screaming, go for the cheaper one, the $15 one right? But which one is actually the better value for your money? Well, the answer is almost never that simple. In fact, that so-called cheaper stock might be the worst deal of the two. Stick with me here, because by the end of this video, you are going to know exactly how to solve this puzzle for yourself. To find the answer, we have to become financial detectives. And that means we need to learn how to read the evidence. In the world of finance, that evidence is found in a company's three core financial statements. These documents, this is where we find the real story. First up, you've got the income statement. The best way to think about this is like a movie. It shows you all the action, all the money coming in and all the money going out over a specific period like a full year. It tells you if the company actually made a profit or not. Next, there's the balance sheet. Now, if the income statement is a movie, the balance sheet is a single photograph. It's a snapshot in time, freezing a single moment to show you exactly what a company owns versus what it owes on one specific day. And finally, we have the statement of cash flows. This one is my favorite. It's like putting a GPS tracker on the company's money. It literally follows every single dollar, showing you where cash actually came from and where it actually went. No hiding here. So you put them all together, and what do you get? Well, you get profitability from the movie, you get stability from the snapshot, and you see the real cash movement from the GPS tracker. Each statement gives us a different piece of the puzzle, and you need all three to see the complete picture. Let's just quickly zoom in on that income statement movie. Imagine it's a staircase. You start way up at the top with all the money the company made, that's revenue. Then you take a few steps down as you subtract different costs until you finally land at the very bottom, the famous bottom line, net income. But here's a huge, huge trap a lot of people fall into. A company can look super profitable on paper, I mean, reporting a big net income, while in reality, it's totally running out of cash. That's why we need more clues. And hey, if you're liking the content and want more clues just like this, don't forget to subscribe. It really motivates us to keep posting. Okay, so we've got the case files, the financial statements. Now it's time to find the hidden clues buried inside them. And for that, we're going to turn to our next set of detective tools, financial ratios. Ratios are basically our magnifying glass. They take all those big, kind of confusing numbers from the statements and turn them into simple, powerful insights that let us compare any two companies, apples to apples, no matter how big or small they are. For instance, you might run the numbers and just see this, 1.8. Okay, what on earth does that even mean? It's just a number, right? Well, this is the magic of a ratio. That 1.8 suddenly tells a story. It means for every single dollar of its own money, the company is using a dollar and 80 cents in borrowed money. Right away, that gives you a massive clue about how risky its strategy is. Ratios also help us understand really important ideas like liquidity versus solvency. Think of it like this. Liquidity is, can we pay the bills this month? Solvency is, can we stay in business for the next 10 years? A healthy company absolutely needs both. Okay, we've gathered our evidence, we've found some crucial clues with our ratios. Now, it is time for the main event. We're going to use the single most popular tool for figuring out a company's value, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio for short. In the simplest terms, the PE ratio tells you how much investors are willing to pay for each dollar that the company actually earns in profit. It's a direct link between that stock price and the company's real-world performance. A fantastic way to think about it is like this. It's basically the price tag on a company's profits. So if a company has a PE of 20, that just means people are paying $20 today for every $1 of that company's profit. Simple as that. But listen up, because here is the classic mistake that almost everyone makes when they first start out. They see a low PE and think, ooh, that's a bargain. Or they see a high PE and think, whoa, that's way too expensive. But that is not the whole story. See, a high PE isn't necessarily a red flag. A lot of the time, it just means that investors are super optimistic. They're betting on the future, paying a premium today because they expect massive growth tomorrow. And that, that right there brings us full circle, right back to our original puzzle.
With everything we know now, let's take another look at those two companies and finally figure out which one is the better deal. So here they are again. We've got Growth Tech at $45 a share with a high PE of 45. And then we've got Utility Corp at just $15 a share with a much lower PE of 15. On the surface, the utility company looks like a no-brainer, right? But wait for it. And here it is, the final decisive clue, future growth. Growth Tech's expected to grow by a massive 50% a year. Meanwhile, the steady old utility company, it's projected to grow by just 3%. I mean, look at that difference. And that solves our puzzle. The market is paying that high price, that premium, for growth tech because of its incredible growth potential. So even though it costs three times as much per share, its explosive future can make it a far, far better value than the slow and steady utility company. Ultimately, if you remember just one thing, let it be this. A stock's price is never the answer. It is just the beginning of the question, the start of your investigation to find the real value hiding underneath. If you enjoyed learning how to do that in this video, please don't forget to subscribe. It truly motivates us to keep posting.